Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of The Lowdown. I'm your host, Joe Wilmot, and I'll be covering events that are happening around the campus, and I'll be giving you more ways to get involved. So first things first, welcome to all freshers and welcome back all returning students. We hope you're enjoying your first few weeks of university life and are getting stuck into your course. But as we all know, there's always a little something that needs to be done first, Welcome Week. I know I'm definitely sad that Welcome Week came to an end. So let's take a look at the Welcome Week finale and its best bits. Take a look at this. I think that video really does it justice and it was a fantastic night having been there as well with acts such as Blonde, uh, Nathan Dorr and Emo and many more. Uh, although Welcome Week is over, there is one night that won't be going anywhere anytime soon. The student-run station Shock Radio launched the uh, new reboot event um, and in the studio with me now is Adam uh, who is the brains behind um, Reboot and uh, the events coordinator as well. Um, now Adam just for the viewers who haven't heard anything about Reboot yet which yeah. is quite surprising because everyone will have heard about it already but just briefly explain uh, what it is for us. Uh, yep so Reboot is a Saturday night club night at the Students Union put on by Shock Radio um, but it's not just for Shock Radio members, it's for everybody at the university. It's basically a night where you can come down, kind of let your hair down, have a good time, and not have to go into town and pay a taxi fare or pay like £10 entry on the door. Brilliant. And um, why did you choose to do Reboot? Uh, we chose to do Reboot um, mainly because, in my opinion, and the other people at Shock, there wasn't really a club night at the, at the Students' Union for people to go to. Um, and we thought that was kind of a market that we could target. So we kind of came together and we were like, what can we do to have a night where students can go along and kind of have a good time? Um, so we came up with this club idea. We went to the Students' Union staff about it, kind of pitched it. They were really keen to do it. Uh, they let us basically jump on board and do it. Uh, which was really good. Now, one of the things that makes um, Reboot so good is the fact that it's different each week. How do you make it different each week and how do you keep those people coming back? Yeah, so what we do to keep it different is we basically have each week as a theme. So in our first one, we had a UV party, which was really, really successful. After that, it was a jungle theme. Um, this Saturday, we've got a 90s party. Um, but what we also do is we, uh, the first Saturday of every month, we book a club DJ. Um, so the Saturday just gone, we booked a DJ called Lawrence James, who was unbelievable, and the reaction from the crowd was amazing. And uh, we've got more lined up uh, every other Saturday that we, that we do. So it should be really good, and we'll hopefully keep people coming in. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming in to chat with me this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, well, let's just take a quick look at Reboots. Take a look at this. Okay, 
Now, next up, although Welcome Week isn't all about the social side of university, it's about finding your feet at what is your new home, and our Freshers' Fair did just that. The fair was, of course, going to be packed with a truly diverse array of groups on offer. Uh, from fencing to pole dancing, from scuba diving to skydiving, there certainly was a lot to offer. This is how one society, SUDS, uh, attracted new members. Now, many of us have been back at university for around a month now, about the time where perhaps those homesick blues would start to kick in. We've all had the welcome week fun, including me, and I'm sure we all need some home comforts. There will be some of you out there who get homesick from time to time. It's just a natural thing. So I brought in who I think is the best person to solve your homesick blues. Now, I'm joined in the studio by Zamzam, who is the president of the uh, Students' Union here at Salford. Now, Zamzam, what tips would you give for keeping the homesick blues away for our students? Thank you for having me on the show. Um, the advice I'd give to students is to get involved. Um, the reason like, usually homesick is because um, you miss all sort of the things, your, mom, your mother's cooking, um, the friends back home. But the best thing you can do is just immerse yourself in student life. Um, get to know your flatmates, get to know um, your course mates, um, get involved in societies and clubs, um, and just take full advantage of what um, Salford has to offer. And just for the viewers, just briefly explain for us what it is that you do, uh, like what your role is and, and how the Students' Union helps the students here. Um, essentially what I do is anything and everything that affects students. Um, so as a Students' Union, we, we exist just to make sure that students love their life at Salford and they have the best student experience that they can have. Um, and that involves a lot of things, as you can imagine. It, it means sitting in a lot of committees and boards, um, but it also means um, organising the fun stuff that students um, um, value. Um, on top of that, we, we do advice centre um, support, which, which means that if, any, if students have any issues on, on, on their courses or need any counselling support, mental health issues, we're here to help them and support them. Brilliant. And uh, I've heard about the Big Ideas page. Now, if I were to put an idea forward, um, what's the process that, that I'd go through for that? So it's easy. You just go onto the Student Union website, you write up what your big idea is, um, get people to vote on it, um, and then as bad officers, we make sure we do it. So, for example, somebody put in um, they wanted free car parking from this after 6 p.m. Or all around campus, um, and it happened. So it's sort of um, your idea, we make it happen. Brilliant. And how can people get in touch with you? Um, easiest way to get in touch with me is probably via email. Um, all, my, all my sort of uh, social media networks is on the Student Union website. Um, so they'll be my face with all the sweat cloths. And you just <laughs> click on there. Um, and all my details are on there and, and what I'm doing this year. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming in to start with us this morning. Really appreciate it. Um, now, finally, what's coming up over the next couple of weeks here at the University of Salford? Well, The Mix, which is Salford's big band special, is making a comeback on the 18th of October at the SU. If you're interested, you can see more about their last event on their Facebook page. On Friday the 13th, you can wrap up warm and head down to the Peel Park Fire Garden. Or if you need a bit of a laugh uh, to see you through the current lecture depressions, go and watch the Salford Suspiciously Cheap Comedy Evening at the New Adelphi Theatre on October 23rd. And look at all the different societies and events uh, on offer here at Salford. You can get involved at salfordstudents.com. 
Hopefully we'll see you at some of these events. And if you have something you uh, think could feature in the show, email us at thelowdownuos at gmail.com. I'm your host, Joe Wilmot, and you've been watching The Lowdown. See you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye for now.